welcome to our data visualization tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many R users encounter when working with the dplyr and ggplot2 packages. Our viewer wants to create a slope graph, similar to one found in a popular example, but is facing a challenge when trying to subset their data for specific labels. Let's dive into the details of their question and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by creating our data frame using the tibble function. This will help us organize our data for plotting. Next, we will filter the data for the health area and create a line plot using ggplot2. This will visualize our data effectively. Now, to add text labels for specific data points, we need to ensure we are using the correct data context. Instead of using DPLR filter directly in Geom text, we can create a separate data frame for the labels. Finally, we can add the Geom text layer to our plot using the new labels data frame. This will allow us to display the labels correctly without errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To filter data in a ggplot2 chain, you can use a direct subsetting method. For example, use geom text with df subsetted for the year 2016 and sub-area activities. While the direct subsetting works, you may still encounter issues with text positioning. It's recommended to seek additional help on Stack Overflow for that. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.